Hello and welcome. The game we are checking out today is Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark. This is actually a free game on Amazon. Amazon games currently. Well, I figured why not? I'll check it out. Let's see. We've got a lot of settings here. Don't worry over much about these settings as you will be able to change them in game from the troops menu while not in combat. All right, let's not... Well, we only got... We've got custom, very hard, hard veteran and beginner. This is the recommended mode if you are new to tactical, tactical RPGs or just haven't played one in a while. Veteran, this is the default setting. It is recommended for players with a solid amount of experience playing tactical RPGs. Warning, this mode can be fairly difficult and might not be for everyone. Whatever, we're doing veteran. If that's the default mode, that's what we're doing. In the dark days of centuries past, another worldly beast known as the Ma appeared in Diora, leaving ruin in its wake. In this time of need, seven great heroes rose against the threat. The battle was fierce, but the heroes prevailed, and the beast was vanquished. In slaying the beast, the heroes gained the power of immortality. They formed the Council of Immortals to rule over the land and enforce order to prevent such a catastrophe from ever happening again. But powerful as the immortals may be, they are few. Thus, they created the Order of Arbiters to enforce their will and protect the land. As agents of the Immortals, Arbiters wield absolute authority. They are judge, jury, and executioner. But in time, the Order of Arbiters has grown complacent and corrupted. Could a threat as dire as the ancient beast itself be looming over Tiora? Okay. So a bunch of dudes from Highlander are like the the ruling council, and we're basically the uh, the specters from Mass Effect. Got it. We are the specters of Mass Effect, but for a group of Highlander immortals. All right. Good work, Anodyne. You handled yourself well. Thanks, Captain. I don't feel I actually did all that much, though. Violent confrontation isn't always necessary or desirable. Negotiation is an equally important skill for an Arbiter. Of course you're right, Captain. Are you sure Reiner knew the time we agreed to meet, Captain? Yes, he knows, but knowing Reiner, he's probably... Did you hear that? I didn't. Oh, okay. Help, please, anyone! Sounds like it came from the alley just ahead. Let's go. Oh, no. What is the meaning of this, sir? Why on earth would you strike down an unarmed man? Explain yourself. Alphonse, pesky witnesses. What a bother. You, hireling, earn your coin for once and dispatch these interlopers. But yes, this... There's definitely... The graphics of this game are definitely stylized, but the fact that it's got, like, Final Fantasy tactics-like combat is what definitely convinced me to give it a shot. Definitely uh, made me want to try it out. Okay, let's see. Deployment. In this phase, you can decide which allies you want to join the battle. You can place characters on the glowing cyan tiles until the unit limit has been reached. Shown in the top left corner of the screen, sometimes specific characters will automatically join the battle and cannot be removed. Controls. At all times, the bottom right of the screen contains a list of buttons you can currently use. 
When using a mouse, you can also click on these icons to activate them. The left mouse button acts as the confirm key and the right button as the cancel key. At most times in the game, you can press the help button to enter the help screen where you can get information about relevant things shown on screen. Lastly, you can disable these tutorials in the options, although it is not recommended to do so for new players. All right, so Virgil, that's our that's our guy, I suppose. How do I move the camera? Can I move the camera? Well, WASD. Okay, looks like WASD like moves this around if I'm not moving the cursor. I'll just use the mouse, that's easy enough. Just going to the edge of the screen, that's fine. All right, well, these two guys are here. I feel like if I... This seems farther away, like maybe... Maybe Kyrie here can... Head there. Virgil's a wizard. Virgil's going here then. Because then he can, like, sneak up here and get a blast off on him. Alright. Let's do it. By lawful decree of the Arbiters, I order you to lay down your weapons and surrender now. You are an Arbiter. This is even more tiresome than I thought. It's, <laughs> it's exhausting being this rich. <laughs> but our hirelings exterminate. Hireling, exterminate these pests for me and you will receive a tidy bonus. Oh my god, we're just gonna fight one guy named Dan? Is this guy gonna run away? At once, Lord Alphonse. As you wish. Oh no, Alphonse is gonna fight Anodyne. It looks as though you are about to face your first real battle. Yes, I see. I am ready, Captain. I'm sure you are, but why don't we quickly review the basics just to be safe? In Felseal, Arbiter's Mark, combat is turn-based. Every unit will get an individual turn where they can move and or take an action in any order. You can see the global turn order at the top of the screen. Movement. A unit can move up to a maximum amount of tiles every turn shown by their movement range, the foot icon. That movement is also restricted by terrain, and units can only reach tiles that are within their vertical movement range, shown by the, uh, whatever that icon is. The height of a tile shown in the top left corner of the screen. All right, action. A unit can take a single action every turn. The list of all their possible actions will be shown every turn for you to choose from. Actions include everything that isn't your movements, such as attacking, using an ability, opening a chest, etc. Now then, let's deal with this scum. Move on the map limited by your movement value. You may still take action afterwards if you haven't done so already. Move on the map. Yeah, okay. That is what we have already read. So now we do attack. And I smack Dan here. Attacks from the sides deal more damage than from the front, and attacks from the back deal even more damage. Taking advantage of this mechanic will be crucial to victory. At the end of your turn, you'll get to select your characters facing. Try not to show your back to your enemies, as they will also deal more damage from the sides and the back. All right, let me move her up.
All right, we're doing more damage at least. Okay, that dude ran away. Elementalism. I should have checked. They said they had Warcraft. I wonder what moves were there. All right, let's uh, let's first move up. Elementalism. Abilities of the wizard class. These spell slingers can take out large groups of enemies at once by unleashing, unleashing destructive magic upon the battlefield. Let's do fire. All right, Dan. Instant, no wait time. That's good to know. Can't step on this body, apparently. In that case, we're gonna run right up. Let's see, what do we have for Warcraft? Field aid and forceful strike. Deals times 0.85 physical attack damage and push it pushes the target away by one tile depending on terrain. This could have interesting results. Like maybe you could push them into a fire. And what if I do this into a wall? Is there bash damage? That didn't seem like it. Also has forceful strike. Nope, didn't push him into the spikes either. Looks like into the fire is probably the only kind of thing we have going for that. That's fine. Yep, I don't care if it's gonna hit our person. Since our lady here now has pretty low health, I'm going to do something. Let's see if the AI takes the bait. Maybe they won't attack her if I show this dude my back. Never mind, we won. Enough, I yield. A wise choice, if a bit late in the coming. Alright, victory! Got some money, snakebite oil, short sword, and a bunch of points. Ladies, there you are! What's this? You didn't tell me we were going to a party? Reiner at last, weren't we supposed to... Uh, going to a party, he's got to see the dead body. But, all right. Weren't we supposed to meet an hour ago? We could have used your help with these things. Maybe he's a secret villain. We just haven't heard about it yet. No matter, this gentleman kept us company, and now we will show our gratitude by providing him with a nice, comfy cell. You cannot be serious. Do you know... Who I am, I am Lord, Lord Alphonse, to be precise. As a nobleman of the realm, I command you to release me. Slaying an unarmed man, attempting to eliminate witnesses to your foul crime, and now resisting lawful arrest. There are limits to the privileges of nobility, as you are about to learn. An arbiter and a simpleton, I see. Very well, let us proceed with the farce if we must. Bring me to the arbiter's chapter house for my trial. Are you suddenly struck dumb as well as simple? 
The Knight's Chill does not agree with me. Make haste and escort me to the chapter house, wench. Reiner, I've decided to make a small detour to Illustre. We will personally deliver this nobleman to the main chapter house. Clever, I wonder how much sway the little lordling has in Illustre. Very little, I suspect. Gather our people and make everything ready. We move at first light. On it. Now to ensure you are comfortable for the trip. Outrageous. Simply outrageous. Simmer down or I'll pull out a gag next. No one bothers washing the gags in between prisoners, mind you. Very well. I mean, making making enemies of rich people is a kind of a bad idea. Right? Like if you don't kill them, if you, if you just like try and put them through a legal system and leave them alive, they're, they're probably going to come after you with like money, which could be potentially more devastating. All right, let's head for a luster now. I'm sure our eminent guest is eager to get started on his trial. Right, like uh, like Alcana Bent in North and South, as obscure a reference that is. The journey may be treacherous. We should stop at the local guild here in... Gelai? And hire more hands for the road. An extra recruit would go a long way. All right, so we... I guess we have, uh... I guess we have Reiner in our... In our party now as well, I presume. In need of new recruits. You can change the visual appearance of units in this section. By using the left right arrows on any category, you can quickly change its value or select the row. Click on the row text with the mouse or hit the confirm button to view a list of possible options. You can import your own portrait into the game. Information is provided in the game's main folder about the process. Okay, that's a... Uh, that's something for... <laughs> we're not gonna do... That's cool that it's a feature, but yeah, I'm definitely not going to be trying that feature out for the time being. Ragos. I can just choose Skull Guy? <laughs> that looks like a Dragos. No, it doesn't. There, that's a- that looks like a Dragos. Is this them? It is. I see. Alright, outfit. Let's see if I can match it up with the person that we have here. Actually, can we get the wolf guy? Alright, well, his name changed. He's not Dragos anymore. Well... Facial hair... Glass hat... Sure. Color. Huh. 
<laughs> oh no, I can't even get it the same color as the as the picture. I guess that's close enough. Class outfit. Let's make that blue as well. Okay, that's close enough. All right, hair. What is he wearing on his eyes? Is that the accessory? It is. Okay, hairstyle. Let's see. Can we get something that covers his eyes like the dude in the picture? That's kind of it. Option zero is a goatee. There's like a... Almost a soul patch. None. Okay, there we go. No accessory. Okay, good enough. Oh wait, why did my hat change color? There we go. Andy McLean it is. Okay, how do I get out of here? Leave. There used to be travelers sojourning in the area, but frequent marauder attacks have taken their toll on the busy road. Gyrie. Yes, I noticed. You know, we haven't even been given a reason yet for why this guy did what he did. Like, is he, he's coming off as like a, a crazy D&D &D player facing the consequences. Like, he was like murder hoboing for no reason. And now the DM is like making an example of him. What's happening, Captain? Stand back, Anodyne! <whistles> Spotted. Ah, uh, well, you Arbiters are every bit as sharp as they say. But much friendlier. Well met, friend. Sigh. If you have business with us, out with it. Otherwise, step aside. Of course, I will make it quick for you. Hand over that nobleman tra uh, traipsing along at your heels, and everyone else can be on their merry way safe and sound. What a splendid idea. Quiet. Safety and soundness first, exactly my own philosophy, but first tell me, just what is it you want with our bejeweled guest? Funny you should ask, from what I've been hearing lately, I bet you Arbiters wouldn't mind a taste of this action yourselves, eh? Alright, here it is. This rich fop will pay us handsomely for his freedom. Hand him over, and 20% of the fee is yours to divide amongst yourselves. No one need ever know an Arbiter was involved in our little transaction. I get what I want, you get paid, and your reputation remains as spotless as Illustre's Peaks. Win, win, win. Is there a fourth win I'm missing? Well, what do you say? Do we have a deal? I don't know, Kyrie. Only 20%? Captain? Enough. We haven't had time to exchange banter with these fools.
Yeah, see, the captain totally is going to be up to ne some nefarious stuff later on. As for you lot, attempted bribery, intimidation, interfering in arbiter business, serious crimes, the kind that should see every one of you decorating the trees. But get out of our way and I'll forget I ever saw your faces. That is my final and only counteroffer signal that you accept before I change my mind. Of all the doomy luck, we just had to run into the one clean arbiter within a hundred leagues. <whistles> Jump lively, boys. It looks like we must earn our prize today. No survivors, no witnesses. Ah yes, defeat all foes. Bring in Mr. Virgil. Bring in Miss Lana. And Mr. Andy McLean. Trickery! Scoundrel! Trickster scoundrel! Alright, I, I definitely read that guy right. Especially with the, like, as blatant comments as the one clean arbiter, meaning that this is the trainee girl, so she's, so she's not, like, a dirty cop, basically, but Reiner definitely is. Dirty hit. Rakos, what even is that? They've got crazy dogs with boar tusks and uh, and mohawks. Anodyne, why don't I give you a quick refresher on items? Items don't work as they usually do in most games, so you probably shouldn't skip this tutorial. Use an item. Item counts are shared amongst the the team and are refilled to free for free to their maximum value after each battle. In combat, any character can use items simply by selecting the items command in their action list. Okay, you will notice items have a count next to them. That count is the maximum amount that can be used in any single battle and is shared across the whole team. At the start of every battle, item counts are automatically refilled to their maximum amount for free, so don't hold back by on using them as needed. Did I see holy magic? I did. I don't think I noticed that last time if it was there. Moves debuffs. We'll just all pile in over here. That's fine enough. The, like, psychotic smile on this criminal's face is sure unsettling. It's weird. Doesn't feel like something a real human should be doing. Damn, so close yet so far. I remark you that sizable trap door. I think they might have reinforcements waiting below. 
Well spied. If one of us stands directly upon it, that should keep it sealed against any new enemies. Well, we went the wrong way then. Agreed, but we must move quickly if we plan to secure it. They could strike at any moment. I guess it's going to be our wizard that does it. Okay, so she... is only going to be able to get, like, around there. But so probably would be best if they all piled in around this person. Reiner might get wrecked here if I, if I have him run over. Deals 0.8 physical damage to the target and has a 62% chance of afflicting blind. Counts as a regular attack and will use the equipped weapons element and debuffs. Sure, let's try it. Okay. So does she actually have blind now? Goodbye, Reiner. He's dead. One of your allies has fallen. Fallen allies will be available again next battle, although they will have sustained an injury. An injury will drop all their stats by 10% until it wears off. It will wear off after they rest for a full battle, meaning they need to remain on the sidelines and can't participate in the battle. Allies can also be revived in combat using spells and items, although they will still receive an injury at the end of combat regardless, and could receive more injuries if they fall again. Please note that Kyrie will not receive an injury if she falls in combat. Only Kyrie, not the new girl. The worrying thing about this is that she can get behind this Dracos, this this Vangel Dracos over here. Anodyne should be able to get over here. I feel like it really depends on the order in which these attacks occur. All right, we're just going to do it. Yep, didn't really have much of a choice. That's fine. Good. I'm glad that I can move through people. All right, what I was worried about has come to pass. Can I cancel that move? I can't. Okay, very good. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna attack. And then this one will move here. Oh, she's only got holy magic. But you know what? I already forgot about the items. I definitely should have uh, used those items. To help out Reiner. Oh well. This lady had 
less movement than I thought. My idea was going to be, and I also forgot she was a mender. I was going to have her move here first and like use forceful strike to push them back so this lady could still get in here, but Anodyne had such good movement that she managed to get all the way to the back anyways. I didn't even need to go over here. ideal as I was hoping. good. One more down. I don't know if I should be moving away from, like, the main battle over here. Probably should do something like this. Go over here. Move all debuffs. Now nah, we'll just heal. blind. Almost. Almost dealt with these things. Alright, just gonna move him up here and then he's going to heal himself. Phoenix Ashes? Did I perhaps bring back Reiner with that? Special events that happen during combat will display an event icon in the turn order list at the top of the screen. When the event icon comes to the front of the turn order, the event will trigger. But it can't happen because I'm standing on the trap door. Summon the Reiner.
I thought she was gonna run over there and kill Reiner. defensively is not really the most ideal. Not working great after all. Yeah, see, playing defensively and healing is not... These potions aren't really doing enough to justify actually using them. At least this worked out. I was definitely having that plan the entire time. And he'll just remain up there. Now, Reiner, it's your turn. Look at that, he actually got a kill. Oh, he's got like a thief knife? Wow. We've almost won. I wonder if getting them back up in the fight removes that injury penalty it was talking about. far does my magic reach? So if I went here, it would be able to reach there, which is not enough. Go to that side because maybe Andy McLean can get all the way up there. Well, too late. She's getting up there.
All right, Andy McLean. Time to throw a rock. Almost. We did it. It did not. Reiner still got the injury. This used to be an inn. Quite a prosperous one, if I remember all right. Burned down in a marauder attack last year. And no arbiters nearby to prevent it. You allude to that scoundrel's claim about arbiters taking bribes. Nothing but a desperate attempt to talk their way out of a fight. I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you don't. And yet here we are, dragging that foppish nobleman around because he can't quite trust the local chapter house. That's a long enough break. We need to keep moving if, if we are to reach a luster before nightfall. I'll make sure everyone is ready. Do you need a breather after that, An Anodyne? I guess it can't hurt if we are not in a rush, thanks, Captain. Occasionally, a node on the world map will be marked with a symbol, indicating that an optional character event is available. Select the node and choose Event from the menu to view it. Note that some events are time-sensitive and may disappear as the story progresses. That was exhilarating, Captain. But I also feel a bit sick. It will pass. When I was a child, I dreamed of becoming an Arbiter like my mother. I also dreamed of fighting alongside her, but never that I would be wearing her armor. The armor you inherited, but the position you earned. Watch this one for me, would you? Yes, Captain. Why would someone with your wealth and privilege stoop to murder if that man had wronged you? I'm sure the court would be happy to hear your case. The court's manner of dispensing justice is too costly or slow for, for my taste. I don't understand. That shocks me to my core. But what did he do to you? Let us just say he strayed from the rut which fate had gouged him, had gouged out for him. I still don't. Just like a pair of little girls I know, he interfered in the business of his betters and quite soon afterwards paid the price for it. Perhaps one day you will explain to me how such a powerful lord came to be the prisoner of a pair of little girls.
Why didn't you delegate the paperwork to Anodyne? That's what captains in training are for. Anodyne needs a break. The journey here has been much harsher than what I would typically expect of a trainee. And this particular package I wish to deliver personally. Ah. I half guessed that was the reason. Greetings, Arbiters. How may I be of service? Hey there, Guardsmen! We are dropping this prisoner off for trial on several charges, but primarily murder. Murder is its shame. Not often this kind get brought in alive. You heard the captain. This one's in for murder. Take him to the lower level and make sure he makes it safely to our darkest, dankest cell. I promise you will regret this entire charade, wench, and sooner than you think. Get moving, you. He is still surprisingly confident, I must say. I mean, with right to be, right? If he's rich, then like, really, he knows. He knows exactly how this is gonna end. His arrogance is breathtaking, true, but no longer any concern of ours. Go on ahead, Reiner. I will file the charges. Apologies, Captain, but that will have to wait. The Immortals have convened a council session, and by their order, all Arbiter Captains in the city must attend. Surely it can wait until I've formally submitted the charges. I want this done properly. I'm sorry, Captain, but it cannot. This morning's edict was quite clear. This meeting is of the highest importance, and all captains must appear without delay. I mean, what would have happened if I just wasn't here yet, if I just chose not to come here? Right? How would you have let me know if I was still in that other city? But don't worry about the prisoner. He won't be going anywhere anytime soon, or he'll be gone by the time we get out of the meeting. All right. Thank you, Guardsman. Come on, Reiner. Immortal Council Chambers. Septimus, I understand you've got some kind of announce announcement, Primus. Let's get on with it, if we have to. As everyone knows, while each of the council bears the title of a mortal, we are not quite as long-lived as that. Every so often, in the course of our reign, one of our number is replaced by a younger prodigy. The new immortal retains the title of his predecessor and adopts his colors, but he's nevertheless a new immortal altogether. Is this going somewhere? Oh, it couldn't be that Primus is doing that. Right, it couldn't be it couldn't be that obvious, is it? Septimus. Yes, yes, I know. But important, nay critical, immortal business awaits me, and nothing less would tempt me away from this Congress, I swear. Naturally. As I was saying, there comes a time for every immortal to surrender his mantle and step down. Now the time has come for me. Shocking, I can't believe it. That is certainly going to liven things up. Meaning I will have the opportunity to directly observe an immortal relinquishing his power. How absolutely fascinating. Are you quite committed to this decision, Primus? As everyone knows, I am the oldest remaining immortal alongside Quintus. Great, and Quintus, Quintus is like undoubtedly the, uh, the Hades Loki of the group and is gonna cause nothing but problems, obviously. 
I was present on the day we brought down the ancient beast, and I personally scribed the founding tenets of the Immortal Council. What I'm getting at is this. It has been a very long journey. Rewarding, yes, but also tiring, and the time has come for me to step down. Our trusted Arbiter Captains are no longer eager to hear what follows, Quintus. Would you kindly do the honors? B. Of course, Primus. Wait, was this the one he said was old, not this one? I don't know. This is the guy that's villainous. Whatever. As this situation only occurs about once a century, it will be a mystery to most of you. Is it gonna be me? protagonist lady down here that gets to be a new immortal is that what's going on when an immortal's time has come a replacement is selected through a method called the marked pilgrimage every immortal marks a candidate of their choosing the details of the pilgrimage are explained to the marked but as they are of no import to you i shall waste no time on that what should be of great interest to the Arbiters, however, is that each marked is an immortal candidate and as such is bound by no laws for the duration of their pilgrimage. So I have Arbiter immunity and marked by an immortal immunity. I have extra no laws apply to me. You may render assistance unto them if it is requested, but not otherwise interfere in their business. I believe that is everything. Are we done with surprise announcements, announcements for today then, Primus? Excellent. Captains, you are dismissed. Primus is as old as the council itself. It will be strange to see another assuming his title. I suppose the day must come for each of them, and he has been at it longest. Though he does seem surprisingly fit, especially in contrast to Quintus. Ah well, there will be plenty else to worry us soon enough. From what I've heard about the marked pilgrimage, chaos follows closely on its heels. Wait, what's this? Decided to take the air, did you, Alphonse? Because I don't think it will agree with you. Oh, see, I, of course. He's marked. He's like, yep, yeah, I'm going on the pilgrimage. Get out and see you later, losers. Well, well, the nosy wench and her hired gorilla come to see me off. We're here to see you return to your cell and promptly. I can't believe it. One of the immortals has chosen you to be a marked. Obviously the villainous dude that was on the left. You are much sharper than you look, I grant you that. But indeed, only the absolute finest are selected as candidates for the exalted rank of immortal. It's only natural my name would end up at the top of that list. It really seems like they just were like, whoever's here, right? Oh, you happen to be here today? All right, good, perfect. I'm picking you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must hasten on my pilgrimage to Sentina and thereafter my imminent ascension to godhood. We're like, damn, his, his above the lawness supersedes my above the lawness right now. We are just going to let him go. You heard the council's judgment. He is above the law now, untouchable. Goodbye. I can't believe he, that him, was made a mart by the council. I need some time to think on this. Spread the word. We leave tomorrow at first light for Sentina. I have a feeling trouble is going to find us on the way.
We should visit the store before we depart for Sentino. We could certainly use an upgrade to some of our equipment. Let's get you outfitted. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got a plow. Okay. We currently have an axe. The mall is better in some ways, worth worse in others. Same for the short sword. Do we not have armor? Is it weapons only? Hidden knife, maul, rod, wooden staff, short sword. Well, okay. Well, buying another maul seems like it will be all around better for our our dude here. Bronze armor seems like the, the right bet. Bronze helm. cap accessories okay well the accessories seem to do more harm than good or maybe not Demi Gauntlet. Shining Band, a glowing ring to help with vision troubles. This one helps eliminate toxins. It, it like gives me resistance to poison. Why does she all of a sudden have no no weapons here? Did I just give it away to him? Did I take her weapon off at some point somehow? Oh, it was the shield. Give her an axe as well. How about that?
This guy's really got nothing. Good enough. This is spending all my cash. How do I... Change back, remove, which character? How do I finalize this? Confirm purchases. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough gold. Okay, let's see. What can we get for this guy? Bronze helmet. Some gauntlets as well. Okay. Now let's get out of here. Save the game. Timber Road. Looks like my hunch was right on the mark. Trouble just found us. Or like we went looking for it. When I go looking for trouble, it'll be, well, something more dangerous than this lot anyway. Fair point. Okay. Boss, these here travelers is an exact match for the description we got from the Posh Lord. Yes, I can see that. Now shut your fly trap, I'll do the talking. You there, officer, are you Kyrie of the Arbiters? I am, do we have business? Unless it is urgent, I suggest you head to the nearest Arbiter's chapter house and take your problems up with them. It'll end better that way, I promise. Oh no, I'm afraid that will not do. For you see, you are just the person we've been waiting for. Wait, I believe I know the rest. Alphonse wishes the wench to be dealt with permanently or something to that effect, and you underlings better not bungle this or else. Sound about right? But I, how did? Uh, boss, the Lord guy did warn you they was a wily lot. I'm not sure how you knew we were coming for you, but that changes nothing. We have both the numbers and the experience in this dirty business, unlike you ceremonial flunkies running errands for the immortals. You know what to do, take them down to the last man. Dimber Road. Defeat all foes. Okay. Reiner can go there. He can go there. Our wizard can go there. Lana there. And Mr. McLean in the back, I guess. Okay. Start the battle. A lot of bats just kind of hanging around. This map has a treasure chest on it. Found it. Treasure chests may contain a variety of things, including gear, components, gadgets, and badges. To access a chest, one of your units must be positioned right next to it, and then use the open action that will appear in their list of commands. Don't worry over much if you are unable to reach the treasure by the end of combat. It will remain on the map for the next time. 
Some maps also contain special treasure chests. These are usually harder to access and might require you to have specific abilities or equipment in order to reach them. They also tend to have better or even unique rewards. Well, let's get to it. Run over here. They have this lady. Reiner gets shot. He's probably already almost dead. Run on over. Axe this person. on up here. We gotta make our way towards that treasure chest. Heal. Run on over. Item. Rock. Throw rock in her face. He's almost down. This seems to be the best I can do. I guess I should have positioned that lady better, but whatever. This takes one unit off the board, so... That's a lot of damage. Well, I've got options here. Is this lady going to be able to get up here is the real question. I think the right move is to force will strike this guy out of the way. Well, that's unfortunate. That guy immediately took the spot. That's real bad. That guy immediately took my spot. Well, let's, we're trying to get up here. So we're going to run up here. We'll give Reiner a little bit of help. And then our healer will run over here. Heal her up. She's good as new. Okay, so I don't want her to take this spot, actually. I want him, I want Virgil to take that spot.
He's in not a great position now, but it's for the greater good. Yes, this is perfect. They're all bunched up like this now. Okay, Reiner is once again almost dead. But that's fine. Well, unfortunately, now we know, at least, that, uh... Can't attack from over here. So in that case, what should we do? I guess, Reiner, you're elected to go get this. Sign... the noodle fruit? The noodle fruit! Oh, there was a climb prompt as well, meaning that you could climb up this. It would take an action, but you could do it. I see. Forceful Strike hits two people. I noticed that earlier, but I didn't make use of it. right here. That ain't good. That dude can attack diagonally. To heal Virgil. Virgil's a lot closer to death right now. Virgil gets the heal and then she's gonna wait right here. That guy's tough. We're gonna save him for last. Unfortunate that it missed that one guy. I was kind of counting on that. That guy took the bait and went for Reiner. Very good. Oh no. They both took the bait and went for Reiner. <laughs> What to do? Well, that is unfortunate.
least that guy's down. Okay, I think we gotta stop healing and it's time. She can do offense right now, so she's gonna have to do some offense. Get up there. Almost. Our leader's almost down, that's not great. We don't have much to help. I guess we will just go here. And wait. This is real bad. This is like an entire turn wasted. This is like an entire round wasted because none of our people can attack anyone. Anodyne's gonna win it for us though. She's still at full health no matter what. Take a step back, and we burn them both. Fantastic, only one left. Fantastic, we did it. Virgil, the MVP, he was. He very much was. Nice work, Anodyne. Thank you, Captain. My training is proving its worth, just as you said it would. Yes, Anodyne definitely was second MVP of that match. I confess, I am impressed at the progress you've made in a very short time. But once again, please address me by my name. I prefer that we relax protocol while in the field. 
Yes, of course, uh, Kyrie. Ready to report my findings, Madam Captain. I await your convenience. Reiner, you're insufferable. Alas, I'm a man of many flaws, Madame Captain. Very well, report. He eliminated that group entirely. The roads are safe for the time being. Safer, at least. However, it is just as you surmise. The bandits seem to have been in the employ of our favorite nobleman, Alphonse. I recovered a fat purse from the leader, fashioned from purple velvet and embroid embroidered with lace. Does anyone doubt where this came from? That is interesting, but also pure conjecture. You have something in the way of hard evidence, I assume. You know me too well. I figured that the little lordling wouldn't have enough gold on his person to pay for a major assassination. So I searched the bandit leader thoroughly. And lo and behold, tucked away in his boot was a promissory note for a much larger sum. Said note was signed by Alphonse himself. Quite a gamble for him to take. He must truly hate us. Excellent work, Reiner. Coupled with the thugs confirming that they were in Alphonse's employ, this should be ample evidence against him. But he's above the law, so I don't know what you're hoping for. All right, you take... You two take a breather. I'll ready everyone for our departure to the temple near... Sentina. Reiner, I'm not sure I followed that whole exchange. It's hard to tell by looking at her because she keeps her emotions so carefully in check, but Kyrie is actually very angry and concerned. The fact that Alphonse murdered a man right in front of you two and appears to have been cleared by the council, it calls a lot of what we believe into question. What she believes into question is more accurate. But Alphonse is a mark now, and all the marked are above the law. By explicit council order, there's nothing we can do. Right you are, Anodyne. Kyrie is going completely out of jurisdiction to do this, and, and directly against the will of one of the immortals. That's, that's completely true. <laughs> she definitely should not be doing this. That was my first thought too, but Kyrie knows the law letter by letter. There is a provision related to the Arbiter's right of self-defense which supersedes all other laws, even those pertaining to the marked. So she thinks that she's going to stalk this guy that has been chosen by an immortal and force him into a situation where she can claim self-defense and murder him. <laughs> by sending those ruffians after us, Alphonse have give, has given us legal grounds to bring him to justice regardless of his marked status. Ah, oh, the captain is so wise. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I think if the captain was wise, she would quit while she's ahead. Quit right now. Quit right now and just go forget about this dude forever. So that is the reason why we've been heading towards Sentina this whole time. Knowing the Lord was going that way himself. Kyrie was seeking retribution. We may be tasked with- oh shit, I clicked it off. There is no way the woman I know would ever let this go. She's the biggest Karen in all of the Arbiters. <laughs> Alright, we've had our break. Let's rejoin the group. Poachers, bandits, and wild beasts all claim this territory as their own. 
Warning, your characters have been accruing AP ability points from your victories. You can use these points to learn new spells, skills, and abilities for your characters, which will make them a lot more useful during battles. Check out the ability section in the troops menu to do so. Uh, troops menu. From this menu, you can manage your units, including changing their equipment, classes, abilities, etc. You can also access crafting, check your items, sort your units, and many more options. Look at the bottom right of the screen to see all the options. Explore away. Abilities. Learn abilities. You can learn new abilities for classes you have access to. You will need to spend AP to learn abilities. Okay, AP will be earned for your current selected class and not your subclass. Through participating in combat, characters not in combat will receive a smaller portion of the AP earned by those in combat. Additionally, everyone will earn a small amount of AP for classes their allies are using through the vice vicarious learning bonus okay so this one will actually lower their attack and this one will lower their mind stat let's do power strike knight subclass learned On top of the regular abilities, a unit with access has access to their current class. They can also select a secondary set of abilities taken from any other class they have access to. Yeah, on top of their regular abilities, a unit has access to through their current class. The wording of this sentence is so weird. I'm just going to give up on it. You'll, automa you'll automatically use the two passive abilities that you, your current class provides after you unlock them. And you can also select up to two passive abilities and one counter from any of those you know. Yes, this is extremely Final Fantasy Tactics. Don't be afraid to experiment and create a unique unit that suits your own playstyle. I have none of that stuff. Oh yes, this is as Final Fantasy Tactics as it as it can get, this screen right here. You can change your unit's current class to any class you currently have access to for that unit. New classes will become available as you learn more abilities. From your current classes, you can change as many times as you want, so feel free to experiment. Yeah, we're getting him, we're switching him to Thief. He might actually be useful, or he's, yeah, switching him from Thief to Mercenary. He might actually be useful as a Mercenary. You can change your unit's equipped gear here. Each unit has six slots to work with unless you have special abilities that influence what you can equip, like Dual Wield or Sturdy Grip. For example, you can equip one weapon, one body piece, one hat piece, one shield, for certain classes and many accessories you can fit. Okay. 
but she has no helmet. This guy's got, like, no gear either. We're pretty low on equipment, really, but it's fine. Let's just... Let's see. Abilities. Learn abilities. Mercenary. There. Even he knows Powerful Strike now. And for Scoundrel... Lead of foot increases his movement. Steel component or aerial cut? 62% chance of inflicting bleed counts as a regular attack and will use the equipped weapons element. Okay. I'm fine with him just being a mercenary and be able to do better damage. Increases maximum HP by 25% or we get a counterattack. We definitely want to counterattack. Okay. She's better off now. Defensive multi-target abilities will not include allies as possible targets, and helpful multi-target abilities will not include enemies as possible targets. That's good, but we also should probably just take this. Heal restores one mind HP in a small area. Revives an ally on the given tile and restores 25% HP. That seems rather good. Mana foot also seems pretty good. You've learned a passive ability. Known passive abilities from your current class are automatically equipped, but you can also choose two passives from other classes in the set abilities menu if you've learned some. I see. She does already have it. Very good. Precise Strike is 100% accurate, and then Flash Strike bypasses counter abilities. We'll just take Precise Strike for now.
So let's see. Abilities, set abilities. He's got a holy magic as her secondary. don't know why he would need to know anything from Warcraft except for... Yeah, he knows first aid, I suppose. Plague Doctor class, huh? What is in the Plague Doctor class? All right, he's going to be a knight too then. Okay, very good. Crafting. To the Alpine Woods, then. Okay, we're gonna fight some... some crazy-looking animals? Like, what is this thing? I'm gonna proceed with an injured unit. I got no choice. I don't have. I didn't get any more units. Bad luck that crossing paths with the wild beasts. Everyone be on guard. Vangles are quite agile and, in their own way, just as dangerous as a seasoned warrior. Probably more dangerous, right? If it's a giant wild animal. Probably could cave in your sternum with one kick. that thing called a doa deer what was it doa drenner all right the rest of us can't get up there if we just like stand right here Right, we can just kind of chill down here and wait for them to get down here. My MP did not recover between battles? Now that's fucked.
and just like that, my MP was wasted. Take that. I throw a rock at you and then I run away. damage. We'll just surround this thing then. It seemed to do some kind of like AoE magic. So I'm not gonna try and reduce its attack in case it does a non physical damage thing again. Looks like it's almost dead, anyways. Come on down. We can't really get to the action, unfortunately. There, I flee to foot everybody. And then I run over here. I should have changed holy magic to um the mercenary one. I forgot to do that. It'll be fine. I'm gonna move back just to give them some room to move up if need be. The beasts, that is.
Fantastic. The battle's already almost over. Counterattack doing its thing. we'll move over here just to do some healing on Reiner. Not really necessary, but it's fine. We did it. We won. Victory's ours. Well, with that, that is where I am going to call it. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.